How are you tonight? Hello, Tiffany. Hope everyone is doing well. I cannot believe it is Thursday night. Hey, Carol, welcome. I'm gonna pull you guys up on my phone so I don't have to squint to try to see your comments. All right. As you are hopping on, please say hello. And I'm gonna set this to all messages so I can see all the messages. There we go. Awesome. So we are here to craft and chat. Hello, Bunny and Tiffany and Carol and anyone else who hasn't said hi yet. I am Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. This is my channel and I've had this channel now for over four years. I'm so excited. I'm creeping very slowly, it seems, although quickly at the same time towards that 90,000 subscribers. It's crazy um, how things grow. And now I'm also on Facebook. Um, so I have done, how many lives have I done on Facebook this week? Three? And one was today. Hey, Carla, I'm going to do this YouTube live tonight. We're going to chat a little bit. I'm going to do a pretty simple project. Um, yeah, Tita. So this is what I made. This is one of my favorite projects I made last week. This is, um, our 18 inch MDF round from Magnolia. And I glued some of these flat beads. I added a beaded hanger, but this is our new little hair and roses stencil. I absolutely love how this turned out. And then I just added four um, flowers from Dollar Tree. I loved this. This was a really fun project. And then this is what I made today. This was a thrifted tray. I used some beads and this bunny from Dollar Tree. I did put scrapbook paper on it. It was just that brown paper. And then we stenciled just the Hello Spring from one of our uh, Magnolia stencils. So those are a couple of the projects that I've made um, this week and last week. It's getting all in the spring um, mood. Oh, thanks, Amy. Thank you. Um, yeah, so chat. Oh, the other thing that I made, I want to make sure you guys know about Craft Club. Okay, so this is what I made with our March Craft Club kit. So if you're not aware, <clears throat> Magnolia has a monthly craft club. It's $22.99. Each month, you get a complete project. Now, it did not come with this bunny. It did not come with this crate. This was what I added. But you get the stencil that has the two different patterns. You get the three white um, carrots that are kind of heart-shaped. You get the yarn to make the top. You get the orange chalk paste. You get the squeegee. It's awesome. So these are my carrots that I made. I just left them blank on the back side. But if you are interested in information about Craft Club, I just put my carrots in a little crate from Dollar Tree that I stained and put some ribbon on. And then this bunny was from Target a few years ago. I decided to use the back side and then we added the little um, tail back on there. So Craft Club is really awesome, and you can still get in on March Craft Club if you're not already a member. If you are already a member, you'll get it automatically. We do ask for at least three months that you do Craft Club before you cancel um, for any reason, but it's still pretty early in the month. What is today? The 9th? Yes, the 9th. So it's still pretty early in the month to get this awesome carrot um, craft club kit. I love it. All right. We're getting some friends on here. So let me just put my bunny back here. And then, um, if you are interested in possibly becoming a creator like me or joining my team, we have our spring updated creator kit. Um, oh, ew. 
lot, Tiffany. That's quite a story. So you got the spring minis, um, some surfaces, some chalk paste. Uh, some ink, a catalog, an apron, lots of tools to get you started either as a hobbyist where you can get your own products at a discount or to build a small business, either doing workshops for people in person or going live on Facebook or YouTube like I do. For $99, you add the tacky towel, the stencil scissors, and the water spray bottle. So those are my public service announcements for this evening. All right, one of my favorites of our new stencils is this one, the Just Breathe with the cute butterfly and this gorgeous flower here. I think they're peonies, if that's how, if I'm saying it correctly. I did use this a couple weeks ago on a round. It was really, really pretty, and I decided tonight I'm going to do a shirt because I have not inked a shirt in a while. I think the last one I did was... The All You Need Is Love and a Dog. And before that was the um, the Christmas movie watching shirt, which I do love that. I do love that shirt. So what I have here, and I'll have to angle it down. I don't want to hold it up because I already have it laying flat. I got Avia is the brand of like the athletic wear at Walmart. And they have these really soft, these were over, you know, in the leggings, the athletic sportswear stuff. And it was on clearance for $10. It is a Via. It's this beautiful, like, what would you call this? Like a country blue color. Um, it's wide, so you can, like, work out in it. But it's kind of a little bit cropped. So I am just going to stencil this um, image on the sweatshirt. And I'm going to use, I'm, I'm hoping these colors show up on this kind of darkish, grayish blue. I'm going to use Magnolia Green Ink for the leaves, and I've decided to use Sangria. It's kind of a deep reddish pink for the flowers, and then I'm going to do white for the words Just Breathe. Not sure if I'm going to do the butterfly. Don't be mad. It's not a monarch anyway. It looks like a swallowtail, but anyway... Um, you do not need to fuzz your stencil if you're stenciling on fabric. And, let's see. Oh, you're partial to the bunnies. Okay, so I'm going to angle this down. Unfortunately, on YouTube, I can't get both me and my project. Let's get my phone out of the way here. All right, so I have my ruler here because I was kind of looking um, where to line this up. And we're just going to peel this off. Now, a couple things about ink is it is permanent. Um, so you don't want to, you know, you want to be careful. You don't want to drop it other places. Um, and then when this is completely dry, I will need to heat set it in order to be able to wash it. Okay. And I'm just pressing this stencil really well because I want my ink to just go where I can see the shirt through the stencil. Okay. Um, I'll show you also. Well, let me show you my small one. Inside the shirt, I have a larger version of this. It is an ink mat. It's a little sticky. I need to clean this one. But the one that's in here is about this big. And the great thing about it being sticky is that it holds the shirt in place so the shirt doesn't move around while I'm trying to um, apply the ink. It'll stay nice and flat. And then that way I will get as crisp of an image as possible. Oh good, Patty. I'm glad you're glad. <laughs> the other thing to note about ink that's different than paste is it's thinner. Okay, so it's a little more liquidy and you just need a tiny bit. You're gonna see when I'm using this that I just barely dip my um, squeegee or my paintbrush squeegee into the ink and pull it out and then that's how much I put on. You wanna use the smallest amount as possible. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do because the flowers are pretty big, I have 
paintbrush squeegees here. It basically looks like a paintbrush, but it's the same rubbery material as our squeegees. I'm going to first do all the green areas where my leaves are. And then I'm going to come back in with um, another paintbrush squeegee to do where the flowers are going to be like right up against the uh, leaf. Uh, does that make sense? I hope, hopefully that made sense. Okay. So I just want to use, I'm just dipping it in and then same as with paste, you're just going to kind of brush it across. Now I'm, I'm impatient. I want to just take a little peek. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that I don't need to go over that again, that the color was going to show up on the blue shirt. All right. We have another leaf here. I figured if I got the leaves done, it would kind of be easier to see where the flower petals started and stopped. So this is all leaf because they're very close to each other. Okay. So as I was telling you about Craft Club and the Creator Kit, if you are interested in more information about either of those things, please let me know in the comments. Can that be the only leaves? I think I want to do these little buds that aren't quite open yet. I'm going to do these green too. Um, le let me know in the comments if you'd like more information. You can just say Craft Club. You can say Creator Kit. Any of those things. And I will be happy to answer any questions for you. Otherwise, you can um, go to my website, monarchmomdiy.com to find out more information about the stencils. If you're interested in purchasing any of the stencils that, or the stencil, the one stencil that I'm using tonight, right? Or stencils that are used on projects that I showed you. Okay. There's some little pieces like of stem. I'll try to get. The other thing with ink too is it doesn't dry as fast as the paste, but you still, you know, you don't want it to dry in the stencil. All right, that is all the green. Okay, yep, so the, the ink mat is what it's called. There's the two sizes, uh, holds the shirt nice and still while you are inking it so it doesn't move around and make your image messed up basically. All right, so right now I'm just doing the parts of the flowers that are really close to where I just did the green. And then for the rest, the big chunks of the flowers, I will use a regular squeegee. Okay. This is going to be so pretty. So I will let this dry overnight. I will probably, if I don't get around to it tomorrow, I will heat set it on Saturday and then maybe I'll wear it for you guys next week on one of my lives. That would be fun. Okay. These flowers down here. Okay. I'm just like I said, I'm just trying to outline where the pink is right up against the green that I did. I have a little bit more control 
with the paintbrush squeegee. And I think that's all of it. So now I can get an actual squeegee and be able to, oh, wait, <laughs> I missed this part up here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, you shouldn't have to. I mean, it would take, I think, quite a bit. You'd have to leave the stencil on there for kind of a long time, I think, Amy, for it to uh, dry into the stencil. Also, remember... When you use a stencil on, with ink, it may stain the green part of your stencil, but that will not affect being able to use it again. You will still be able to use it again, even if it stains the mesh. As long as the ink or the chalk paste can get through the holes of the mesh, you will still be able to reuse it. Because remember, our stencils are reusable. One of the things I love most about them and we have a stencil cleaner. Um, it looks like a magic eraser, but it doesn't have all the chemicals. And it is great for cleaning your stencils, especially when you've used ink. Okay. Now, if you are worried that it's going to dry, you can lift your stencil. where you've already finished oh see some of that green did get a little dry okay I got it so and then just let it flop back down because it's not going to hurt anything now I'm just going to do the just breathe with my white less is more we want it to be, and it could be this material too, depending on the different materials of your shirts. Like this is kind of a stretchy material. So I want to try to not move my shirt too much when I stencil it. So I'm trying to not go over and over. Just do a little bit. Enough to cover. Okay. Oops, I got a little bit of the tea over there. Okay. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Not good. Make sure you don't have any ink on your fingers when you're going to be touching the shirt. Oh, that white looks good. I love it. What do you guys think? I think it looks amazing. Let me turn it around. Doesn't that look so good? Okay, I gotta clean up my mess here. I just love this stencil. Guys, these shirts are super soft. Like I said, I got this at Walmart today. I don't remember what the regular price was. I want to say it was probably like $14 or $15, but it was marked down to, to $10. Um, I'm like, oh, I could use one of my stencils on that. So I am super excited. What do you guys think? Thank you. I'm glad you like it. So it looks like the, uh, what color was this? Sangria will get a little bit darker as it dries. I love it. You'll definitely be seeing this on me next week. Gonna let it dry overnight, gonna heat set it, and um, I will wear it next week. Can you use the ink? Yes, 
the um so here's the difference between chalk paste and ink all right ink is permanent you can use it on anything that you can heat set either with an iron or something that can go in the oven okay so like mugs plates ceramic glass those kinds of things you would use ink chalk paste is used on pretty much everything else uh signs just don't use chalk paste on fabric that doesn't work and if you tried to use ink on like wood it wouldn't dry all the way it's just a different formula so you're going to want to use permanent ink on fabrics glass ceramics any of those things great question great question does anybody else have questions about ink um some of the other things that we've inked are the like the little wristlets okay this was ink i let it dry i heat set it with an iron on the banner this was a craft club project as well so was this these uh fabric banners that we have oh i have here's another one same stencil different colors uh what else we did aprons, we did a tote bag, um, this is ink, this is a banner garland, this was um, the spring craft club last year. What works best on galvanized metal? Um, I would probably do chalk paste and then uh, Holly, I would spray it with a matte clear spray to seal it. That is how you're going to make chalk paste permanent is when you spray it with something over top. So when I did the bunny, so this was chalk paste because it was a wood surface. So first what I did, because the surface was MDF, it was unfinished. So I painted it with plaster chalk paint and then I mod podged over it. And that's how I got a nice crisp stenciled bunny and roses. I let the chalk paste dry. It doesn't take very long. And then I sprayed again with a clear matte spray. Don't do Mod Podge over chalk paste because the liquid of the Mod Podge and the motion of brushing it is going to smear your chalk paste. So you always want to do a spray sealer to make this permanent. Now, if I would have left the Mod Podge uh, chalked my stencil on here and not sealed it, I could reactivate this with water and clean it off. Now it might like the dark pink might leave a little bit of a stain on the white, but that's how our, yeah, the hard way. Yeah. That's how our chalkboard surfaces are reusable. Okay. That chalkboard surface, um, can spray with water and then you clean it off. What do you clean the ink mat with so that it stays sticky? Great question. A Lysol or Clorox wipe. And I do it like in a circular motion. And you'll see that it's getting like the fuzz. Let's see if I can show you. So this is going to have a little bit of fuzz on it from not too bad because this is that kind of athletic material. But um, I do it in a circular motion. And you'll see it's getting up all the fuzz, whatever came off of the shirt. And then I let it dry and the sticky will reactivate. That is a great question. Yes. Awesome. Any other questions? Thanks for asking that, Amy. Let's see. Is the Amy with no last name? Is that Amy Hepler? I see Amy Danielson. Hey, Sheila, you made it. Yes. Ink is really fun. Um, I would definitely say start with chalk first. Um, it's just a little bit more forgiving, okay? But um, now that this is done, the, all I have to do is let it dry and then heat set it with an iron. And honestly, whenever you buy a stencil from my website, it comes with these instructions on the back of every single stencil. So it tells you how to care for your stencil. Um, how to clean your stencil, 
and how to dry it, how to store it. It does not tell you how to um, heat set, but if you get a craft club kit that has ink, it will tell you how to heat set it. But I can always send you um, instructions. It's pretty easy. Once it's completely dry, I put parchment paper down. Take out the ink mat, of course, because it's plastic. You don't want to melt it. Yes, I was just going to tell you that. So once this is dry, I'm going to put parchment paper down and then a warm iron, not too hot and no steam. And you're literally, I set a timer on my phone for five minutes. Back and forth. Don't let it sit in one spot. Okay, just back and forth over the parchment paper. And then I let it cool down. I wear it. And then the first time I wash it, just because, you know, not that I'm pessimistic, but I just don't want ink to get on anything. And it never has. It's never like gotten on other parts of the shirt or anything. I turn it inside out and I wash it by itself, just normal. And now any of my inked shirts, I just wash them like that Christmas movie watching shirt, the hoodie sweatshirt I made. I've washed that thing like five, six times and it doesn't fade or anything. So it's awesome. Um, you can use chalk paste on glass, but it's going to wash off with water. So if you want something, um, who asked that? Paula. So if you want something that you can change out, like let's say you have those cylinder glass vases from Dollar Tree or something. Let's say for Easter you want to do um, the butterfly pattern or something on it. You can definitely chalk that with chalk paste and let it dry. But if it gets wet, like you wouldn't be able to wash it, I guess is what I'm saying. Because if it got wet, the chalk paste would come off. Because that's the, the formula for the chalk paste is it reconstitutes when it gets wet. Which is why it smears when you try to put Mod Podge over the top of it. So if you wanted something to last with glass, you would use ink, let it dry, and then you would heat set it in the oven. No, Tara, just the first time I washed it. I just turned it inside out and wash it by itself and you can dry it too. Yeah, Tiffany, it is a good way to recycle the glass. You can just wash off whatever you use chalk paste to stencil on it and then start something else. I did not wash the shirt first. Nope, did not. Good question. Um, sometimes Holly... I leave the ink mat in, but really the ink mat is to hold your shirt still. I don't even know if the ink didn't even go through the shirt. So really, um, in this case, I just used it to hold the shirt still while I was stenciling. Um, a clear spray on the glass. I think it's going to look kind of foggy. I've never tried to, to spray a clear spray on glass. It's a good question. It might make it foggy. Like the glass wouldn't be as crystal clear because you've got that clear spray on it, but you can, you can look on your spray and if it says it's good on glass, maybe it would work. All right. Ooh, dishwasher Mod Podge. But then again, if you Mod Podge over it, it's going to smear it probably. Unless you have a spray form of a dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Good questions. All right. So I know that was kind of a shorter um, live, but I'm glad we got to talk about some of these things having to do with ink and how easy it is to make a beautiful personalized <laughs> Sheila personalized shirt oh hey Tammy yes Mod Podge does have a spray version yes it does so that is all I have for you unless you have other questions about any of the things I shared I'm just going to carefully unstick this from my shirt get my hand in there um but yeah, I use the ink mat 
when I'm doing anything with ink, shirts, tote bags, just stick it inside. It just makes it a lot easier, like I said, when you're stenciling it. This is probably not all the way dry though, so I'm, I don't want the stencil to touch other areas. So that probably would be a good reason to just leave this in the shirt until it's completely dry. Now I have nowhere to put it. Okay. There we go. So there it is. I'm going to let it sit here on my table overnight. And then we will heat set it in the morning. Oh, <laughs> hello, Miss Farm Girl. Yes, and we are wrapping up. So if you came in late, feel free to watch the replay once it is going. I would love it if you guys would give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed learning about inking with our stencils on shirts. I'm always on the lookout for those clearance buys at Walmart. And this color, I love blue. As you can tell, I love blue. So yeah, sorry. But you'll definitely want to go back and watch um, how we stenciled this shirt. Do you Mod Podge or spray your wood surfaces before you paint? No, I do the chalk paint, then I uh, Mod Podge, then I stencil, then I spray. So paint, Mod Podge, stencil, spray. That's what I do. Oh, Marlene, you're not already in Craft Club? Well, make sure you buy it from yourself. Since you're a creator, then you'll get your discount. You pay like $17.54. Regular acrylic paint with the fabric medium added so it won't wash out. Yep. You just wouldn't want to use acrylic paint with fabric medium in our stencils because I'm afraid it would clog the stencil. That's why you would want, if you're going to use a mesh stencil, that's why you would want to use... Um, our ink. Okay. Awesome. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being here again. I'd love it if you give the video a thumbs up, comment. Yay, Tara. <laughs> and comment below if you have any other questions. No, it will not flake off because we're going to heat set it. You let it dry. Let me do my little demo. You let it dry completely. You put it on an ironing board, you put parchment paper, and you do a warm, no steam iron for five minutes. That heat sets the ink. You can wear it, you can wash it, dry it. Perfect. Okay? All right, friends. Well, I am going to say good night because I haven't seen my husband all day. And I will see you guys. I will be um, live again tomorrow on my Facebook page. If you don't know, I have a Facebook page also called Monarch Mom DIY. I go live there at least three times a week doing crafts, usually using Magnolia, but not always. And I'd love it if you'd follow me over there as well. And so I will see you guys. If I don't see you on Facebook, I will see you here next Thursday night.